We thought we'd do something a bit different with this video because we're dealing with a camera that's a bit different. This is the Lytro Lightfield camera. You may have heard some of the hype surrounding it. It works unlike any camera you're likely to have used before in that it scatters the light as it approaches the sensor, depending on what angle it's arrived from. The upshot of this is that you can later reprocess the image as if it had been focused at a different point. There are two things this ability to refocus can be used for. The first is to fine tune the focus on your own images. The second is to produce images that can be constantly refocused by the person viewing them. And it's not entirely clear to us which Lytro had in mind when it developed this product. In keeping with its unusual concept, Lytro has come up with a rather unconventional body design. It's an elongated, anodized aluminium cuboid with almost no external controls. There's an unusual zoom strip on the top of the camera that you stroke to move the lens back and forwards. Almost everything else is controlled via a touchscreen on the back of the camera. And the screen is one of the camera's great problems. It's small, low resolution, and suffers from very poor viewing angles. As a result, it's often hard to tell what your images are going to end up looking like. Its other problem is there's a price to be paid for that extra information being captured about depth, and that's a loss of resolution. The output images are just 1080 by 1080 pixels. Ultimately, we think the Lightfield camera is a fascinating concept, and we're sure people will do both interesting and creative things with it. Lytro should also be commended for bringing such a complex technology into such a consumer-ready form. Sadly, while resolution isn't everything, we think too many people will feel too restricted by its 1.2 megapixel output for it to be a mass market hit.